G'day everyone. All right, this one is uh, 148 scale. It's the Curtis Hawk 3, and it's from a Freedom Model Kits. Uh, this was tooled in 2018. Uh, this boxing is uh, predominantly for the Republic of China Air Force. There's four different aircraft number in the same scheme, but you also have a uh, Thai Air Force, or back then Siamese, Royal Siamese Air Force 1940, and a Argentinian scheme, Argentinian Air Force from 38-39. So I've previously had this kit in my stash, but I sold it. But aircraft, I'm quite uh, love the look of the aircraft, so I've bought it again. And I'm pretty sure the last boxing I had it came with a resin pilot. This one hasn't got it, but that's no big here, I guess. So you got uh, the box art. For those who like the frame kit art, that's so only a small aircraft. So there's not a heap to it. Yeah, all right. So, got the uh, aircraft history, the sprues, your photo etch fret, clear part, and your decal sheets. Uh, color callouts are in Mr. Color, so your lacquer variant of uh, Guns. So you starting in the cockpit as 99.9% of the build do. Uh, so cockpit, cockpit, tub section with the walls and then straight into the uh, engine which has some photo etch on it as well. Uh, a lot of work in the engine there, you got the exhaust going on the rear of it as well and your interior of the fuselage area where a lot of this will not be seen so in behind the engine uh, tailwheel section it's like a construction of some several pieces going in and it goes inside the fuselage halves uh, we got here some holes need to be drilled out for well, I'm going to guess this for the rigging there uh, and we got top of the fuselage at the front going on uh, side bits around the uh, on the engine area and you got the stabilizers going on at the stage and then uh, you got all the well, all oh, a heap of uh, photo etch for the controls for the control surfaces for the uh, stabilizers uh, engine gluing on to the front of the fuselage Uh, some more photo etch. There's a highlighted picture of how these parts, the photo etch, looks sitting on the engine. Engine cow, which is two halves going on. And then underneath, a few large sections, rear and front. And then the wings. And then we start the uh, combines for the boy wing. Then we uh, got the upper wing going on here, and also uh, you got option for some bombs under the wings. And then the 
photo which you're rigging so it's a bit for me I find it's a bit a lot going on here in this this section so you sort of just got to step back a minute and slowly go through it so they got uh, angles here to bend the photo wedge and then we got the diagram of it going in but there's also a CAD work of it in position and how it should look so that's something that like I said for me I don't like instructions where it's all packed into one area sort of for myself I can miss things or just a bit confusing but I guess it shouldn't be too bad just uh, take the time uh, we still got some more rigging going in and some more still so we got uh, just these ones look like they're on top of the fuselage to the wing and there's some uh, st image, another image of the CAD image of it uh, more photo at the top and it's saying optional here so oh yeah okay so there's this plastic mold into the wing so if you wanted it, you can stick with that or you cut those plastic parts off and put on the uh, photo etch which will be more finesse of course and some more small pieces going on the side of the fuselage and a bit of a blow up picture of here where they position which uh, might be some assistance there it's still a bit uh, that that picture is a bit vague you go by that one I guess and undercarriage going on uh, wheels uh, uh, gear doors and option for a bomb and your propeller so there's a better look at the scheme I quite like the uh, tie one try color camouflage with the colorful rudder the Argentina one is silver so uh, not natural metal, I guess you'd be looking at doped linen by the looks of it, it looks fabric, the majority of it. And then you got the the, the main choices with green all over green and the uh, bright blue and white Republic of China Air Force markings. And there's a decal for the instrument panel. By the looks of it. Alright, start with this little bag. Just there, so you got uh, bits of rubber there that will be using these little. Round bits, I think I saw one there in the instructions call out for it. Alright, so who oh, that photo which there seem to be so much in the instructions. It doesn't look that much on here. But yeah, there's those tiny little bits for the top of the wing, or the side ones, bits for the engine, and of course the rigging and the wiring harness on the engine. The good thing is that it comes with the kit, and you don't have to go out and look for an aftermarket set like I did for the duck or built decals.
Have a look all good there. Can't see any issues. I have built not this kit but Freedom Models kit and I've used the decals. I don't think I from memory I don't think I had any issues. I get some photos of those will turn out better. Just trying to get glare off them. Screen section and some lights. It's a uh, full clear. Not a fan of the colour of the plastic, but it's probably just from being used to most kits. You get a light grey in aircraft anyway. A couple of ejection pin marks in that cowl, but. You probably won't see that once it's wrapped around the engine. There's a dry fit to check that to see if you need to get rid of them or not. Same as on the inside of co uh, cockpit. Oh, actually, that's not the cockpit. That's the cockpit there. So that's uh, where's that one it sits there. So should be all right. There is a texture to the plastic there, though. I don't know if that shows up. But it's be such a small area. And once the uh, top wing is on, you won't, it'll be hard to see in the cockpit. Not. Right. There's the interior of the cockpit, it's actually nice detail up. Looks nice and crisp. Some of the, uh, <coughs> not a couple of tiny bits of just the uh, seam flash when the moles go together, but just a couple here and there, it's not nothing major. Uh, your wheels, two halves, of course, and then there's your engine, uh, the bulkhead behind the pilot, so yeah, it looks pretty good, and you got your bombs there as well, alright, so there it is, quick one. <coughs> Yeah, I had some uh, still photos now. Thanks for watching.